marking one week since the deadly attack. And people here are honoring the victims as well, but they're not standing still. No, fittingly, they are running. Fox 6's Jenna Sachs is live in Brookfield with more on this interesting tribute. Jenna? I think every runner is eager to get outside today and enjoy this beautiful weather we're having. Here in Brookfield, a huge group is gathering as we speak. They're checking in for a solidarity run to support Boston. I'm told this store, Performance Running Outfitters, has about 500 RSVPs. They expect as many as 700 people to attend. This actually isn't the only run going on tonight. Stores across the country are hosting similar events. Another running store here in Brookfield, Fleet Feet, tells me they're expecting about 160 people at a run at their store tonight. Runners here tell us what happened in Boston really hit home because the Boston Marathon is something so many of them aspire to one day run in. They say the atmosphere of any big race is something special, whether you're on the course or in the stands. My family and my friends have always been there supporting me, um, you know, in the stands, everywhere, and for I think what really hit me was realizing that it happened in the stands and that's, that's where my family would have been and um, yeah, it just, it really hit home. And this event today is also a fundraiser. They're selling these T-shirts here. They're about $20 and can be uh, bought at any store, uh, any running store throughout the area. 100% of the proceeds are going to the victims in Boston. It's going to the One Fund Boston. Reporting live in Brookfield, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. That's a determined group. Jenna, thank you. Stick with Fox 6 for all the latest developments from Boston. You'll find more details on our website, fox6now.com. A Cedarburg daycare is shut down by the state after allegations that an older child had sexual contact with two younger kids there.